welcome to today's video lecture in today's video lecture i'll be solving previous year's neat questions and discussing the answers and this is for the chapter animal kingdom and we are in part 8 of the series so if you haven't checked out part 1 to 7 please do so the links will be there in the description box below all right let's begin then okay so question number one hair occur in all mammals except those of this appeared in the year 1988 a rodentia uh, B. Chiroptera, C. Primata, and D. Cetacea. Okay, so hair, of course, hair occurs in all mammals except those of D. Cetacea. Alright, so the correct answer is D. So it is absent in mammals that belong to the infraorder cetaceans. Okay, example dolphins, whales. Now, dolphins and whales are mammals, but they don't have hair. Alright, so that's the correct answer. All right, let's move on. Question number two. Bird vertebrae are, and this appeared in the year 1988, A. Acillus, B. Heterocillus, C. Amphicillus, and D. Procillus. So, bird vertebrae are B. Heterocillus. Okay, answer is B. Let's go to the discussion. So, they are heterocillus, that is their centrum or the body of the vertebrae is like a saddle, okay. So, it's like this, okay. So, this these are called heterocillus vertebrae, okay. It's based on the shape of the body or the centrum of the vertebrae, bone. All right, fine. Let's move on. Question number three. Feet of kingfisher are modified for, and this appeared in the year 1988, A. Wading, uh, B. Perching, C. Running, and D. Catching. So, feet of kingfisher modified for B. Perching. Alright, answer is B. Let's go to the discussion. So, the feet of kingfisher, they belong to the fam family Alcidinidae. They are used for perching on branches to observe they catch with their beak they are not wading birds they they are not like waders they don't um, walk on water or swampy areas or mushy areas uh, so the feet are actually used for perching on branches to observe the prey okay and that's when they attack or hunt on their prey all right um, all right let's move on then question number four both male and female pigeons secrete milk through, this appeared in the year 1988, A. Salivary glands, B. Modified sweat glands, C. Crop and D. Gizzard. Okay, so male and female pigeons secrete milk through C. Crop. Okay, the answer is C. So, uh, there is a milk-like substance which is secreted from male and female pigeons. Obviously, mammal, female mammals secrete milk but it is observed in pigeons also okay and and it is uh, secreted from crop okay and this is to help or give nourishment to the young ones okay the young babies that are there all right so this is uh, one um, interesting property of pigeons okay this was a little uh, difficult to know you have to study birds in more detail but uh, yeah, just remember it as a fact. Most of the questions that we've seen so far are like factual based, right? So just learn it as a fact. Okay, let's move on. Question number five. Tiflops is, uh, this appeared in the year 1988. A, sea snake, B, glass snake, C, blind snake, and D, grass snake. So Tiflops is called C, blind snake. The common name is blind snake. Okay, so Tiflops is a genus of blind snake. Obviously, there are many species, but this is the genus. Okay, again, learn it as a fact. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Question number six. Nectaris is, this appeared in the year 1988, A. Hellbender, B. Congo eel, C. Mud puppy, D. Blind worm. Okay, so Nectaris is also known as C. Mud puppy. Okay, answer is C. So, on. so known as mud puppy also known as water dogs okay and it and is a genus of aquatic salamanders all right so the amphibians and uh, mud puppy are also known as nectaris or water dogs all right again <laughs> learn it as a fact yeah these are all factual based questions yeah 
right let's move on question number seven fire belly toad is this appeared in the year 1988 a amphiuma b bombina c nectaris and d salamandra so fire belly toad is b bombina okay a c and d are amphibians other types of amphibians but this is a fire belly toad okay so it's called b bombina also it is b so fire belly toad is called bombina okay um, again learn it as a what i say fact <laughs> all right let's move on question number eight which is not a true amphibian animal this appeared in the year 1988 a salamander b toad c tortoise and d frog which is not a true amphibian okay so it's clearly c because a b and d are amphibians so tortoise is not an amphibian it's a reptile it comes under the class reptilia right so the answer is c it be tortoise belongs to the class reptilia all right that's there this was a uh, this was pretty simple to answer i mean you had to uh, remove all the other options eliminate all the other options and then choose the right answer yeah let's move on question number nine a wood boring mollusk or ship worm is this appeared in 1988 a chitin b terido c limax and d patella so wood boring mollusk or ship worm is b terido it's also known as terido okay it's also called terido okay so uh, these wood boring mollusks they feed on the wood that are there in the sea you know ships uh, boats that are there so they feed on that all right the other options were also mollusk a c and d but uh, to answer your question wood boring mollusk is a called as terido okay Clear? Yeah. Let's move on. Question number 10. Uh, organ pipe curel is, this appeared in 1988, A. Tubipora, B. Astrea, C. Helipora, and D. Fungia. So, organ pipe curel is A. Tubipora. Alright, answer is A. So, organ pipe cure, uh, coral, sorry, is tubipora, astrea, or uh, turban snails. Fungia is mushroom coral. Okay. So, yep, that's it. Yes, we've answered the question. They asked for organ pipe coral. That's tubipora. All right. Let's move on. Okay. So, we've come to the end of this video lecture. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video lecture. And I hope you've learned something new today. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to MJ Need Biology and I will see you in the next video lecture. Alright, bye.